So a plane crashed outside of your neighborhood and on that plane, there was a hundred snakes. Now, some of you would get up and look outside in your front lawn and be like, damn, my grass is so tall. If a snake was there, I wouldn't even be able to see it. How would you fight this crime? How would you solve this issue? Manscaped. The rocket scientists at Manscaped put together precision engineered tools to keep your man parts looking clean and presentable, like the Lawnmower 3.0, their third generation trimmer that features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 3.0 is waterproof so you can shave in the shower, and if you're feeling dangerous, it has an LED light so you can shave in the dark. I love the Lawnmower 3.0, but if you're going to do something, you might as well do it big. Get the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0, which comes with the trimmer, the crop preserver, which is an anti-chafing ball deodorant, and you get two gifts. You get some Manscaped boxer briefs, comfortable as hell, and this travel shed bag you can hold all of your grooming goodies. So not only do I want to help the people you invite to your man parts, but I also want to help your pockets. Go to manscaped.com, make a purchase, and at checkout, use my incredible promo code VOCH. V-O-C-H. You'll get 20% off and you'll get free shipping. Let me say it again. V-O-C-H for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use these tools, clean your nuts up, be happy. Let's get into this film. So the Cowboys signed Keanu Neal uh, for one year, five million dollars. I wanted to wait to get my big thoughts out. Uh, I did like a quick reaction video, um, but I wanted to wait a little bit before I actually put film in the streets because I think this one needed a little more time and attention. Uh, I could have just come out quickly and said Keanu Neal is a box safety. He's going to come down. He's going to hit and that'll be that. And I would be right if I said that, um, but I just think this one required a little more uh, thought and attention because we have this certain uh, bit of news that, that kind of came with this whole package deal that Keanu Neal would be playing Will Linebacker, which I think is very interesting. Um, so what I did was I went to go find some Falcons film and I just kind of looked through like seven games from last year just to kind of see situations where Keanu Neal would be uh, what I call a linebacker looking type dude. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to just come out and say linebacker because he was truly a safety still. He was just a linebacker looking type dude. And I'm just going to show you in different scenarios in this film session of uh, what Keanu Neal would possibly look like um, playing linebacker since he was a linebacker looking type dude. And um, we're also going to talk about some things that that Dan Quinn can do defensively. Also, uh, at the end, I kind of want to have a conversation after we do the film. I really want to know what this means for Donovan Wilson. All right, that's the big elephant in the room for me. But anyway, let's kind of get started with uh, some of this film. I really wanted to show this play here first, right? I'm going to try my best to do some edits here. Uh, this play, well, this this formation really kind of shows uh, what the benefit of having a hybrid player like Neil is. Like I said, we'll talk more uh, more on that notion later. But what you get, first of all, Keanu Neal's right there. Uh, so what you get with this look is, I get to keep my three corners. There's one corner up, up top here. He's kind of cut off by the screen. But you get to keep your three corners, one, two, three. So that's your nickel look. And we're only in nickel to be able to deal with three receivers, right? Um, so you get your three corners, but you also get three linebackers to be a better run defending type team. You know what I mean? Like if, because you can take a look at Cowboy defense last year to where we would mostly run nickel to deal with the three receiver sets, but we would get run on because we, we, we just didn't have that much box help, right? And we had tackling nickel corners, but you can only do so much with that. What this does is you get to keep Keanu at safety. There's your one high guy and your one high guy becomes super important here. But Keanu is your safety still, but he turns into one of your linebacker looking type dudes. You see what I mean? Um, so you get support in both areas. So 
you know, and then we're just gonna kind of run this play. They used Neil as a uh, as a uh, blitzer here, and which I just thought was was really really fun because that's the kind of dude that he is. He's a downhill, intense kind of dude. Like if you want Keanu Neal to cover and play one high, you're going to hell for thinking that. But just as a physical, you know, foot said bring attitude to my defense kind of guy, uh, Keanu Neal is definitely that dude. Let's uh, take a look at some more examples. Now last year, uh, Darius Leonard, uh, the Colts linebacker, uh, he came out. And said that he was about 215 last year and sometimes all the league needs is you know just a little bit of evidence um and he's a really good player so what i think that's going to do is open up the doors for how to use these hybrid safety linebackers and little bitty linebacker type dudes um so when i see keanu neal in a handful of these situations where he's true linebacker sometimes he's a safety in a linebacker looking type dude situation other times he's at true linebacker i think this is this is a time where he's when he's true linebacker here and i'm not trying to make this look highlight tapey but you know when he was in that true linebacker type role uh he was looking pretty solid in there in terms of dealing with the big people um now there there there's there's two things that has to happen you know if you're going to have small linebackers here i think your d line got to be relatively in order and you got to be a little bitty angry dude and you got to be on time with your reads um and i think keanu neal is all those things but the move kind of makes sense, though, because linebackers and box safeties aren't terribly dissimilar. Uh, Keanu Neal is right here. He's in the linebacker role. He's a linebacker looking type dude right now, even though he's the strong safety. He's just kind of a linebacker in B gap right now. It's, it's a really interesting situation here. Uh, but what's particularly interesting about this play is that he's leading the point here, right? He's not just being some will linebacker that's not being touched right now. Like he's coming down and he's taking on the mess. He's taking on traffic here. What I mean by mess and, and traffic is just different terms that I use on my channel. So uh, pulling, uh, pulling linemen, uh, fullbacks, tight ends, things of that nature. That's really what you worry about Keanu Neal being. But, hey, man, look, if you can deal with it, <laughs> more power to you, player. And I'm going to show you even more examples of of, uh, of of Neal dealing with blocks, him in particular right here. Let me just kind of uh, talk talk you through this through this uh, play a little bit. We're, we're going to get a lead block uh, from the fullback and a, and a pull from the guard here, but Keanu Neal is going to set the edge. This is basically him setting his edge um, here, and it's going to bounce everything back inside where his help is. Um, but he's actually going to be the one to make the play, so that's twice as impressive for him. Uh, I'm digging it so far, man. I need to see how it looks you know, in a cowboy uniform, but as of now, it's kind of making a little bit of sense the more you watch the film. You have to be able to run and hit in the league nowadays, and that's what I think this is gonna be. The big question is, you know, can he do this better than, than Jalen? And I know the immediate, the immediate feel for cowboy fans is Vice Jalen Smith sucks, anybody can do this better than Jalen. But I do think that's a true question that we gotta answer. Like, like, just, 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 just look at him here, right? He's really, really fun. Like, the more you watch, the more you watch, he's a, he's a really, really fun dude to look at, man. Cause he's just all over the place. He's just really pissed off. I think he's really gonna help the Cowboys run defense, man. But to be fair, like Keanu Neal doesn't play a whole bunch of like true linebacker, right? Like I just found some plays and I cut them up so y'all can see them, so you, so you can get the get the visuals or whatnot. But he doesn't have a whole bunch of just nothing but linebacker film. So this is the part where we have a conversation about Keanu Neal. First of all. Do we need a player like this? I really like the idea of having a player that's gonna help us versus the run, that's gonna be super physical, that that plays like an angry, frustrated asshole. Like just, I'm sick of the world type dude, right? I, I think you need those kind of maniac guys, right? I think Neil is one of those dudes, but not even but right now, I'm saving but. Also, I like the idea that we're moving him away from strong safety. Technically, like we, 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 we really don't know yet. We just kind of saw this report that he was going to come in and be a wool linebacker. We really don't know what that means yet. And we don't know what that means until we actually see it. We only know what a Dan Quinn defense in Dallas is even going to look like. So I encourage us to wait until we get more information, but um the idea that, he, that he's gonna come down and like play some linebacker for us i mean cool we need a linebacker so fine uh we uh we need some more guys to come play box safety all right cool so now my questions and my reservations my 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 reservations are never with neil as a player 
right? Because I'm always trying to look to get better. And the 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 Cowboys defense was the worst defense I've ever seen of all time. So any kind of little help that that you can get there, um, you should absolutely take advantage of it, no matter what the help is, um, even if it's at box safety. But 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 my whole thing is how the personnel that we currently have is gonna work. You see what I'm saying? So my idea is if the Cowboys are locked up at anywhere on defense. I think it's like four spots that are locked up that shouldn't be moved. I think that's Randy and D-Law. I think that's uh, Trevon Diggs. And then I think that's um, uh, Donovan Wilson, right? I think those are four spots that absolutely shouldn't be moved. Um, can Leighton Vanderish have a locked in spot? Sure, you can say Vanderish has a locked in spot, but I mean, hey, if you even look in the... You know what I mean? Like we didn't we, we didn't even know if we was gonna fifth year option to do. You know what I mean? Like like that's the kind of conversation we're having about Leighton Vander. So he even he's not even locked up. But I think moving into this thing, we all feel really good about Donovan Wilson. What does this do for him? If you force me to say Vach, you know who do you like better out of Keanu Neal and Donovan Wilson? I'm gonna take Donovan more because I think Donovan can actually cover receivers. I think Donovan can flex at free safety in the pinch. I think Donovan has has a lot more range than Neal. You know, um, you can't even say that Neal is a bigger hitter or a better tackler than Donovan Wilson because we have evidence of donovan wilson coming down and laying people out you know what i'm saying so we just can't even say that um but i don't want this to be a situation where the whole neil at will linebacker thing is an experiment and neil got to go back to box safety and then we end up sitting donovan because dan quinn is more comfortable with with neil that's the whole thing that i don't want to turn into an issue now what this kind of gives me pause for is that when i showed you formations earlier to where neil was the the will linebacker looking type he, he was a linebacker looking type dude he was that but he was the strong safety on the field at the time he just lined up at linebacker right so it's not going to be a situation where well, let me just let me just pause. It could be a situation, but just based on this film I saw, I didn't see a situation where, OK, Neil was that linebacker and there was a strong safety behind him and there was a free safety next to him. That's something I didn't see. You know what I mean? So if Keanu Neal is going to be a will linebacker like I've been seeing on film to where he's the will linebacker and there's no strong safety, then fine then then we're going to be upset because donovan wilson's role is going to have to change either him sitting down or him going to be free safety i don't i don't necessarily want donovan at free safety he can play it in a pinch but donovan puts the nipple on the titty at box safety you see what i'm saying um but if we're just going to totally change if we're going to pull that pull pull so so if we're going to make neil a full-time linebacker right no more strong safety. I've seen enough of Neil in the box to have confidence in you at linebacker. We're just going to combine these defenses, polymerization card and all that, and just fuse them together. If that's what it's going to be, then put Neil at will linebacker, find something to do with Jalen. Um, Van Der Esch will be where he's going to be at, and Donovan Wilson is going to be at strong, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do at free, whether it's KZ, whether it's Malik Hooker, I would prefer, or whether it's like uh, we draft a guy, uh, whether it be Morig from TCU or Richie Grant from Central Florida. That's really who I want there. If that's the situation, I'll take that. I'll take that because now it puts pressure on Jalen, right, to where Jalen is either going to be um, – Hell, man, J Jalen's either gonna be on the bench, <laughs> or he, or it's gonna be like a rotation situation, or Jalen's gonna be like a full time Sam or something. I don't know. Whatever's gonna do is putting pressure on Jalen to be better. I kind of like the idea of Jalen having to compete, um, you know, for his food or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just a real interesting situation, but we just don't have answers right now. So I don't want y'all to think that Vach is coming out here with all the answers because I don't have them. What Vach is doing is I'm watching film, and based on what I'm seeing, I'm projecting what could happen. But 
honestly, and I don't even think we're gonna know. I, I was I, I was about to say we're not gonna know until training camp or preseason. But with this, you know, with that Mike McCarthy the <laughs> bull crap that we had last year, we probably won't know what the defense is gonna look like until week three. And uh, if that's the case, it's gonna be a long off season for defensive questions. But um, I do think. That uh, just one more thing for our wrap up. I do think we have evidence that this defense is evolving more into accepting hybrid type players because Keanu Neal isn't prototype linebacker looking dude at all. He's not prototype linebacker dude that we're looking for in terms of like measurables and stuff. Like he's one of these hybrid guys. So to my draft community that that that's probably listening right listening right now, um, that 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 tells us that we're more open to the hybrid type guy, kind of like how the Rams used. Um, use uh mark baron at linebacker right or how uh Dion buchanan gets used sometimes or how buddha baker gets used sometimes uh if we're looking at draft how a guy like jeremiah wosu Moore from notre dame gets used sometimes um uh divine diablo from uh v tech you know what i mean so i'm i'm getting kind of deep with names but i do think that's a first change that we're looking for uh you know so 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 you know we'll see we'll see what happens moving forward man um with that being said man hey shouts out to manscape for holding down Vach, sponsoring the channel all that good stuff y'all go and check out uh manscape.com get you a perfect package get you a lawnmower 3.0 use promo code Vach. you get 20 percent off and free shipping all that good stuff y'all follow me on twitter v-o-c-h l-o-n-b-a-r-d-i um and hey stay tuned for my draft shows man we're gonna do three days of uh of live draft coverage so tune into the channel there's gonna be a whole bunch of good stuff over there all right y'all hold it down for the doski was the peace whiskey man until next time peace yeah.